Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can create the customer in the Zoho. So we successfully able to create the customer in the Zoho. And in this video, we are going to fetch all the customer from the Zoho. So let's go to the customer and here you need to create a new request. And in the new request, we are going to get all the customer from the Zoho. So let's give it a read from the documentation. So how we can get all the customer. Okay, so it's a mention so we don't need to use the scope because we are already using this for full module and uh, okay, it's only this one. So you need to uh, go to this URL and then you need to uh, find the pass the access token and that's it. You don't need to do anything. So let me save this. Uh, uh, let me cancel this out so it's a create so this create is not working for us so i'm not going to save this one so let me save this one as create because we use this for create and this create is created here so let me create this in the customer move this to the customer and yes it's moved and let me delete this out from there delete and i'm going to clone this why i'm cloning this because i don't want to pass uh, pass these headers uh, again and again so let's go here and make this duplicate so i created a duplicate and let me name this first correct correctly so i'm going to make this uh, get all because we are going to get all the customer from this zoho right so which we created so let's go here and change this to get request we are we are going to fetch the customer from the Zoho. So here you need to type this URL. So this is already there. And then what's next? What's next? So go here, headers, and our headers are already set. So we don't need to do anything. Let's click on this send and it will return us all the customer which we created in the Zoho. So send and wait. And yes, now it's returning us a success message with 200 code and it's returning the customer one and we have only one customer so that's why it's showing the paging and stuff like that so we are successfully able to get the customer from the zoho so this is the way you can you need to enter the address and then you need to satisfy these headers so which we said in the previous videos that we need to set the organization and then yeah, this is the optional stuff you can skip this one and then you need to type this Zoho access token and then you need to type this here access token. Remember this would be an access token, not refresh token. So click on this send, it's going to work without this content and yes, it's working. So great, we did, we did a great job. So in the next video, we are going to cover our next stuff. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.